it is. This is the most nicely packaged kit I've ever had. There's a box in the box, like, this is nice. So let's take a look at what we have here. Keep rolling it like this. Otherwise, it's going to get turned into an oval. Now, just gently squish it down. We can also use this to help us squish it. Yeah. Okay. Now, flip it. Peel it off and flip it. Now, keep squishing. Let's see if it's almost as big as the circle. Yeah. Okay, so that is our mantle. Now let's see, he just said outer Eva, core. The largest layer of Earth. The Earth's outer core outer is made core. of super hot liquid. So we're gonna trace lava. outer core. This is two words. This is the, the crack. This is the natural core. This is the the outer core and this is the inner core. Yeah, you don't have to say core for mantle, but you got it. Okay, hop down and I'll hand it to you because we don't want to drop this into the, the hair and you can show daddy your beautiful layers of the earth. like I filmed the exact same thing yesterday or was it the day before I don't even know but it's been a better day so far yeah it's Friday and school went well with Sebastian he wanted me to teach him about earth when I asked him what do you want to learn about tomorrow he said earth so I was up way too late messing with my storage accounts on all these like emails that we have to move over but then I put together an earth unit. I got some worksheets from our education.com and I made a craft and also found a video to watch about the layers of the earth and prepared a writing thing about that where you had to trace the different parts and then we used Play-Doh to create the layers. Oh, he's so cute. He brought it down to his daddy and was able to tell him all the layers. So. It was a good day. I got him to do some writing. We didn't do reading. I think reading he loses his confidence on and we can struggle a little bit. He's just a bit of a perfectionist and it's hard that he can't instantly get it. So he had to write a lot today but not read and he just randomly said, I'm so good at reading now <laughs> because he, I wasn't pushing him. So I think he needed that reset day. But I also said, no quiet time, it's Friday. Uncle Levan is coming and he's coming early to beat the snow. Not that we're getting more than a couple inches, but nobody can handle the roads around here when it's slushy. So we, I just went ahead and went back to clearing old emails out, archiving them on my computer and an external drive. Anything earlier than January 1st, 2020 on my work email account is gone and archived. I can get to it on my computer, but not my phone now. So there's that. But it did free up a lot of space, like 
three gigs or something. And I was going through and getting, doing the same thing to newer emails that had huge attachments for work. Then we ate lunch. We had leftovers of our Mediterranean mishap dinner. And I started working on our family calendar because it's almost February, guys. It's almost February. It's almost Jax's birthday, which is what that means. Crazy. His birthday's on the 5th. But while I was working on that, Yvonne showed up. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's 3.38. Maybe you got here around 3. So they've just been chatting and having a snack. We don't really need a snack because we had that, those leftovers, so we're pretty full. Sebastian is working on his Lego set. It's a big motorcycle. He's rocking it because it has Lego Technics in it too. And I don't know what we're gonna do. We have no dinner plans and no dinner supplies really, so hopefully the weather is not so bad that we can't order. I think most of the snow is gonna stick after dinner, but we'll see. But I'm down here and I don't know if I'm going to work on this brandy here. I've been giving updates to her mama and she's like, oh, you don't, you don't need to rush. You've already done so much. Cause I was like, I, I might be able to finish it by the end of the weekend. But yeah, maybe I need to do these two ears. They just have base coats. This is how I, I start. I just get a layer of paint down and it's going to have a lot more layers. This is all base coat. This is all base coat. This is slightly more than a base coat because I need to cover up here with grass and here needs to be covered with grass. This is still getting painted. This is still getting painted. This needs to be covered all with grass, like overlapping the fur. So next step will have to be this in the ears before I can go back to the grass. Because right now it looks like she's awkwardly sitting on it, but it's just because I need to layer things. I need to do a little bit more detail work here, but it is supposed to be blurry. Because all this is blurry. But she's almost done. Yeah. But I also did just grab the last two triple A's, which is probably a bad thing because I just bought Jack's a present that needs triple A's. So I can wire up chandelier for this thing and it's almost done and then we can unbox this thing so yeah I might do this and then maybe I'll paint I'll see how I'm feeling but yeah hope you're having a great day Hi friends, as you saw, I just put my tea shop up in its final resting place. I ended up not replacing the sign, it's fine. I can always slap a new sign on there if it ever comes to me in the future, but all the little labels on the teas had that same Momo tea name, so I think it's okay. I've mostly finished Cake Love. It's on the shelf with all these old <laughs> computer books and our printer paper, which needs to be restocked. There's not much on one of the shelves, but I feel like I'm gonna add to it based on leftovers from other sets because there's nothing else I wanted to do from it. The one thing that's on there, I created myself based on one of their templates. Let's not talk about the mess here. But I was thinking we could unbox this while the guys are upstairs talking, so let's do that. All 
right, so as you saw, this is a book cafe. Apparently it's called Transparent Bookstore Book Cafe, Book and Coffee Miniature House. So, oh, this just has such good bones and I'm really tempted to make it like video game cafe e cafe. I know there's a spot where it's gonna have books like carved out of one of the structural pieces. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do, but I don't know, I'm tempted. So here it is. This is the most nicely packaged kit I've ever had. There's a box in the box, like this is nice. So let's take a look at what we have here. We've got some wood arches, painted white, I am guessing. Um, this inner structure here. Well, let's hope that all these are cut squarely and it actually goes together without gaps. It's having a, I don't know, hexagonal? Yeah, hexagonal building. There's a lot of room for errors. Let's see what's in this box here. I've taken a quick peek, but just a little tiny peek. And it looks like it's all the wooden pieces. I've had kits where the pieces are loose in bags and I've had pieces where I had to punch them out. This one is a loose in bags kind of kit. So here is, looks like the main structure. Just pop one of these out. Some of them are completely clear. Oh man, all that clear plastic I'm gonna have for windows not the funnest stuff to work with because the glue always shows on it no matter what kind of glue you have so there's that one that's outside this is blue I kind of like it but also kind of want it black I'll have to think on that I'm really good at wanting to paint everything like I can already tell you that these colors they're not my favorite but it looks like we have a lot of these pieces plus I will be punching out these I never have a problem with those just make sure you use a sharp blade to cut all the contact points before you push it out oh. don't like these colors but we'll have to see what they're going towards there is one more bag inside of this box set that aside and we have black and dark blue wood pieces wooden beads just mostly wood furniture bits and bobs, plates and whatever. So this is what was in that box. Right. Moving on to bag GD002. Looks like we have a lot of wiring in here. One of the things that I think brings the price up on this kit. So they always give us a little square of sandpaper. I've got a really huge piece of sandpaper with my most recent kit randomly. Like look at this. I think it was at the tea shop and obviously I didn't use it too much. I've been using these other ones. They're just handy. We've got our battery back pack. These take two triple A's. And it looks like I've got a handful of individual LEDs. They come with a gray and a white wire. Gray goes to black. White goes to the red. We've got a bag of wire. Usually made legs of chairs and stuff. We've got two little clay cane. I think they're called clay canes. Let me show you up close because these are cute. Hopefully they'll focus because I am just on my front cam of my phone and I don't think it likes to focus when you're already filming. But it's like a little log and it looks like a lemon and a teddy bear face. Because of the plastic wrap, you can't really see the teddy bear. He's cute though. And I guess you slice it with an X-Acto blade and you can get little cookies or slices of lemon. So that's cute. There's a little bit of chain in here too. Let's get it all closed up so I can find it again. This is a fun one. I have this piece in white for the tea shop. It's a little espresso machine. This one's in silver. And then we have all sorts of cakes and donuts and coffee cups. 
Well, it's fun to make things. It looks much better when they do give you these like plastic and resin and silicone items. So I did make clay cakes for my cake love set because they were paper and felt and just that looks better. All right, we've got a bag similar to our black bag and it is white. White and a few little natural like bamboo looking beads. This is the rest of the lights and it looks super cool. There's a lot of pink lights. I don't know if there's yellow lights. It almost looks like, yeah, there's yellow lights, white lights and pink lights. So lots and lots of wiring to do here. I've gotten better at it, but I hate it. <laughs> I hope they gave me good electrical tape because sometimes it works well and sometimes it just looks old and crusty and it doesn't stick. So that's the important when that happens. These are all plastic pieces and I see a problem here. Let me show you this. Do you see that black? It looks like something got burnt or dirty. This is gonna be like a shelf. Hmm. Yeah, this piece here is damaged with burn marks. I wonder if I need to reach out to them about that. Hmm. I don't think that comes off. I think this is burnt into it, but these pieces are all plastic. I see the letters for book. I'll give these a good scrub too. The B has some black on it too. I don't really understand I'm using that book because it looks like it's just standing up right on the floor right when you walk in so you just walk right in and trip not very accessible get with it bookstore all right so we've got a little bag of metal bits often these are lids to jars and I see a fork and stuff so this is probably in the cafe there is a random plant that's the least amount of plants I've gotten in a kit that has plants. Here is a bag of black and red beads, jump rings, these little plastic like cord dongles that we use for vases a lot in these sets. We've got a pole. Seems like it is metal. What are we doing here? Do we have a street light? There's a light that hangs into the center from the side since it's an open roof, so that's what that is. It's kind of like a street light, but it's inside. Let's see, okay. Here would be our electrical tape. I haven't seen it on a sticker backing before, but usually it's just like a strip. Looks like it's also pre-cut, so that's interesting. We've got a lot of fabric. It looks like it is faux leather on one side and plush on the other. So I wonder if we're gonna be using both sides. There's also a couple random pieces of plexiglass that have the paper protectors on it. Oh, I see another fabric in there. I'm gonna have to get that out. I'm sorry if this is boring. Oh, it's like really coarse felt, almost like a rug. There's a tiny square of blue woven like linen and two tiny squares of felt. So that would be my fabric. I'm gonna fold this up nicer because it is all wrinkled from being jammed in there. But I'm gonna put it back in. I do like the pink because of the pink lights. And I think it goes with the whole e-cafe thing if I do go that direction. So I'm going to put these all back in because often they reference the main bag that you find these in. And for now, I just want to keep everything organized. Eventually, it'll be just a big box of madness. That's how I roll. And I'll just find it based on what it looks like. But next up, here is what I'm used to seeing. These punch out sheets. Wow, we have a lot of gold paper here. Oh, I see something shiny. Let's see what all we have. So we have some little panels. I think these are books. <laughs> I did so many of these for my very first kit, which is a bookstore, which I don't love, and I'm gonna end up using the base to make my own thing. But look at this. It's 
so shiny. And it's all die cut. So I'm gonna be cutting stuff out of that. Can you see that? So shiny. We've got silver contact paper. Usually they just give me regular metallic paper. We've got a template for something. I'm gonna be cutting out some tiny strips. Let's see. So I see her stomping, so that she was happy that the one is here. Oh, okay. So here is what I was talking about where it says books. If I can get it open. So these go in the back. I'm glad this is paper because I might be able to do something about this. Like cut the windows larger so it doesn't say that. Because I don't like how it says new book. It's new books. <laughs> I'm a kindergarten teacher right now. New book. Bestseller. Bestseller's not bad, but... Yeah, I think this could be easy to fix by extending the window up, right? I'm so glad it's not cut into the wood. That gives me so many more possibilities. We got some corrugated paper and some parchment and some gold foil. And of course, there's that massive sheet of gold foil I saw in here. And that's about it for this bag. We're getting down to the structure and then we should see the book. So. Here's some random structure pieces. These typically aren't painted, but we'll have a paper that looks like cobblestone or whatnot on it. It looks like they painted the edge, which I appreciate. And then this is where wiring gets hidden underneath. I did make sure I got the one with the dust cover because there's very few rooms in my house where I can have them without the dust cover. Downstairs is one of them. So lots of plexiglass. They always have a plastic film here and then a craft paper here. You peel it off. Oh, here comes the goodies. We're gonna set the book aside for a second. We have some board, paper board. What do you call this? I'm blinking. But oh, it looks like I have a computer, some records, lots of things for books and stuff. Oh, let's see if they did a good job with the English. I declare after all, there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than of a book. Jane Austen. Can I read this one? I don't even know if it's possible to read this one or if it's just a blur, like it's legitimately not text. There's a book cafe sign. It says, the coffee produced by women in the best followed by mocha in the in like mocha coffee blend i am obviously not reading this right but it is so blurry <laughs> i'm gonna have to look at that closer later so these are templates for cutting out all those random sheets of plastic film gold foil fabric it looks like they give me templates to figure out which string light is which, so I appreciate that. A lot of times you either cut these out to cut out fabrics or it's just to show you the shapes of wires that you bend, you laid on here, and it's all to scale, which is great. Like the better kits have that. The cheaper kits just say two centimeters, one centimeter, three centimeters, and you just have to do your best. So this is a bookstore and it's looking like my first kit, but it looks like these are real books. I see Rural Doll, it's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, these are so cute. There's a Van Gogh book, Little Women. Really, really nice. So it's tempting to just stick with a bookstore, but I'm definitely gonna be using these. Maybe I will make the other bookstore better with those if I don't end up using it. We've got plastic foam for the windows, covered in dust as always. It's just how it is. This is interesting. I thought this was dust, but it's like a marble and it has holographic coating. I wonder, this is like the floor, I guess. And it's, it's just paper, it's not adhesive. 
Looks like there's a hole I'll have to punch for wiring. Very interesting and I like it. Oh, and it has some Korean. Jonghi Bu Pum. Bu Pum. Jonghi Bu Pum. Whatever that is. Interesting that that's Korean. Everything else I've seen is Chinese. We've got some additional instructions here. It looks like these are just additional things. This is printed on regular printer paper, double sided. It's you can kind of see the lines. My printer prints with lines in it, so that's interesting. But you cut these leaves out, glue them together, and varnish it. It really helps. This is additional instructions how to cut out that electrical tape. And let's see, one more B6 can be pasted in this way. Convenient to finalize the design. Do not need to be removed. Do not affect the operation behind. I'm assuming I will know what that is when I know what B6 is. This is probably the main floor and then anything else we need to cut out. Yes, that's our floor. And it's looking like that we've got some faux marble for counters and tables. I actually like that. Oh, I like that. And it says book cafe. So I kind of be stuck with book cafe. There's their menu here. Everything's spelled right. And it's a reasonable price. I love it. I love it when you don't have to change it. The packaging is cute. People called coffee, I called happiness. Oh, it makes me happy when these work well in English. This is pretty bland, but it's not ugly. There's artwork, record albums. Happiness is finding the book you really wanted to read. So interesting that this is just flat. I'll have to see how that looks. But yeah, I think we've got to the bottom and I've been recording for a very long time. So I'm gonna stop this clip and then we'll look through the instruction book together. Hello everyone, it is bedtime and Sebastian is getting changed so we won't show him, but it is 9.40. I gave him till 9.30 tonight because Yvonne is here. <sighs> yeah, sometimes he spends the night if it's not safe to drive home. I don't think we got too much snow. It looks like a dusting out there. The guys went and picked up pizza in person. <laughs> like a dusting on the road and maybe an inch on the grass. We weren't supposed to get anything much, but there's gonna be a big blizzard. Sorry for the camera angles. He's nudie booty. There's a, gonna be a big blizzard like up in New England, way north of us, so not here. But yeah, let me start back a little bit. I spoke to you when we opened up my new crafting kit together. If anybody has ideas for a name for the cafe, I don't want it to say book cafe, too generic. And I think I want it to have music, video games, 
and books. It's got three shelf areas. One already is set for music. One has lots of shelves. And then I'm thinking the other one can be video game. And just have everything kind of on that theme. So let me know what you think of a name. I'm thinking whatever it is, like, say it was like Voltage Cafe, that would be big. And then underneath, books, music, games, what? coffee, or something. Yeah. You're backwards. No, turn it the other way, turn it the other way. It's completely backwards. <laughs> Watch your arms. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, there you go. You got it, you got it. All right, <laughs> you're decent now. Yeah, I think the sign actually in the door is double-sided and the back does say like books and coffee. So I'm gonna make my own signs for that. I'm gonna print out a lot of my own stuff. This is supposed to go the other way, so you don't see that little tag there. Oh my I don't see the sticker. So I did, I opened that and then I, I wasn't gonna paint, but I made myself paint and I have plenty of time because the guys were just enjoying catching up and having charcuterie and just chilling because they had had some beers and they wanted to go drive and pick up pizza because if we put a mobile order in, even for pickup to Mod Pizza, you get there and they still haven't started your order. And he, he's done it a few times and he's seen them like making instantly the pizzas that the people order in person because you're going through the line, they're putting the toppings on so they put them right in. So he's like, we're just gonna go and put the order in there and take it to go. He said that 60% of people there, no masks. Awesome. And also not keeping six feet distance. Oh, it's a nightmare. No, I don't want them to get sick. But yeah, so I have plenty of time to paint. I got the second layer on all the rest of the first. I did the arms, chest, and ears. I am ready to do all the final grass and then I'll just go in on details because she was an old lady. She had a lot of beautiful silver whiskers everywhere. So it's almost done, it's almost done. I might take a day off from it tomorrow or I might not, we'll see. I am excited to start the kitty cat one. I have this random oval canvas and I'm going to paint it for our dear friends who I wish we could have seen in the past two years for like a game night or something. But yeah, pandemic, hmm. but I painted until they had been out getting the pizza for a little bit. Then I came upstairs, straightened up the dining room table. I didn't film. We just stuffed our faces and listened to music and chatted. And then I headed up for a bath because when I was downstairs painting, I froze. I didn't wear my boots today. So I was just wearing no socks and these slippers, which the fluff has now been flattened every about four months or so. I flatten the fur inside, the fake fur inside the slippers and then they don't keep me warm anymore. I was just lazy and didn't kind of put on my boots and shoes just to be around the house. And yeah, I got so cold and I have Raynaud's, which if you suddenly get cold, your fingers and toes can go white and numb and freezing. And when that happens, I just feel even more cold. And then I came upstairs and we were eating in the dining room, which makes me cold because of all the windows. So I'm like, bath time again. And this time I made it hot. So I finally not cold. I've sealed in the heat with my hoodie. I'm not as warm as I wish I was, but I'm not freezing. And then I had told Sebastian 9.30, but I came downstairs and checked on him at 9.10 because sometimes he does want to get up stairs more up on time anyway but he wanted to just hang out down there with them. So I took my remaining minutes to flip through the instruction book and brainstorm a little bit on that kit. But tonight, since the guys will be down there watching a movie, they've started it right away so Jax can watch it with them. Oh, that's a bad angle. Got this hair that's like <laughs> new growth. So go new growth, but it's annoying. I am going to finally work on my hair. I've pretty much settled on a not very exciting blonde and periwinkle mix. It's gonna be a lot more periwinkle, but I was pulling out some various blondes. There's that gray ash blonde and 
this it's called puce actually but it's like a pinkish blondish gray and i'm trying to decide if i mix in this one which is medium blonde with brown roots mm -hmm. it's so dark then i'll really look like i have roots i don't know if i'm gonna add anything special i might pull out the tinsel i have hmm, but i really don't want rainbow tinsel and i don't feel like having to dig through it for the silver pits i don't know it would look pretty maybe i'll pull it out it's really noisy to get it out when sebastian's asleep so let's pull it out wow this video is long i'm sure oh no so yeah you can see it has a lot of colors and i really only want like the silver which is not very much i don't know if that's gonna happen <laughs> maybe we'll put it in there just in case but i need to stop because this video is probably 40 minutes long <laughs> but that's it tomorrow's the weekend it was a better day I'm not thinking about the future right now, which is wonderful. I knew I'd get to the point where it would just hit me in waves. And right now, public school what? All right, good night, my friends. Stay safe. And don't forget, wash your hands.